Hello, my fellow Whovians. How you guys doing? And welcome to a special edition of Doctor Who Review. I'm here today to review a very special Doctor Who themed movie that was produced in 2013 to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. It's a movie called An Adventure in Space and Time. And it basically chronicles the beginning of the Doctor Who series. Basically, we are taken back to the era of the first Doctor, William Hartnell, uh, played here by actor David Bradley. And as we all know, he's coming back uh, to play the first Doctor in the upcoming uh, Christmas special, which I will not discuss <laughs> in this video. <laughs> And by the way, regarding the new direction that the Doctor Who series is going into, beginning with that Christmas special, I've already said my piece about it, you guys. Um, I can't rant about it anymore. What's done is done, and I have to move on. Yeah, the Doctor Who series is moving on this way, and I'm going to move on that way. Get my drift? Yeah, I think you do. But anyway, getting back to the movie. <laughs> this movie, it was written by Mark uh, Gattis, or Mark Gatis, who currently writes for the new Doctor Who series, directed by Terry McDonough, and again, it stars David Bradley as William Hartnell. And this movie, it takes us all through the beginnings of the Doctor Who series, how um, the show's creator, Sidney Newman, and original producer, Verity Lambert, met, and how they put their heads together, and they came up with this all-time classic Doctor Who sci-fi series that has been beloved ever since. And um, we go straight back to the era of the first Doctor, William Hartnell, and we go through his whole era uh, in about an hour and a half, and uh, see how the show began, and see how life was for William Hartnell as the original Doctor. And um, this is a wonderful movie. I absolutely love and adore this movie. I was enraptured from the first frame to the last. I think they did a really wonderful job uh, capturing the magic and the essence of the Doctor Who series back in 1963. Uh, we get to go behind the scenes to see how they made the show. Uh, I love all the cameo appearances of all the various different costumes uh, from that era and seeing the actors playing uh, all the, the people who took part in Doctor Who back then, all the references to the various Hartnell stories. And the main focus, of course, is the wonderful performance of David Bradley as William Hartnell. I mean, he looks like Hartnell. He sounds close enough like Hartnell. Um, he's got Hartnell's mannerisms down pat. And also to see Hartnell in, in, his, in his off time, in his regular life, uh, with his wife was wonderful to see. And seeing the various interactions of Sidney Newman and Verity Lambert, and the original director, who was, uh, was it Waris Hussain? Did I have his name right? Waris Hussain as uh, the original uh, director on the series. And just how they all interacted with each other, like like in the BBC cantina, talking with each other privately or at, at parties or whatever, or, and getting down to business in the various BBC studios and control centers and whatever, and putting together this classic Doctor Who series. At first, you know, not knowing if, if this show is going to take off or not, but as we all know, it became a smash hit, especially the moment the Daleks showed up. Although, as it turns out, uh, Sidney Newman wasn't so crazy about the Daleks. He, he just thought they were bug-eyed monsters, as he called it. But Verity Lambert convinced him, no, I believe in these creatures. They're more than just bug-eyed monsters. They're not robots. They're creatures in metal casings, and this is what they're about, and they are pure evil, and they're going to be a big hit. And Sidney Newman wasn't so sure about that. He's all, you know, all right, but, you know, your head's on the chopping block if it fails. But, of course, it was a smash hit. The Daleks and pulled in 10 million viewers, and Sidney Newman finally had to concede. All right, well done, kid. You did good. <laughs> it's really wonderful to see. I mean, I was just totally enraptured by the whole film, and I think everybody in this film did a marvelous job. Again, David Bradley as William Hartnell, perfect. Just, just perfect. Um, I also enjoyed uh, the, the uh, smaller roles as played by, um, but no less in importance, the roles of, say, Brian Cox as Sidney Newman. I totally believed he was Sidney Newman. I've seen archival footage of the real Sidney Newman, but I, I believed it was Sidney Newman uh, back from the grave <laughs> with, uh, with Brian Cox playing him. I mean, really, really wonderful performance from Brian Cox. Uh, Jessica Rain, British actress Jessica Rain, she gets to play uh, Verity Lambert. Marvelous, just marvelous performance as Verity Lambert, uh, Jessica Rain. She did a really great job here. Uh, I also enjoyed uh, Sasha Dewan as Waris Hussain, who was the first director 
on Doctor Who. He's really good. Um, I also enjoyed, uh, let's see, in somewhat smaller roles, you've got, uh, let's see, Jamie Glover, who plays the role of William Russell, or Ian. He did a good job. Gemma Powell plays Jacqueline Hill, and she looks pretty much just like Jacqueline Hill and has some of her speaking mannerisms and the way she talked. Uh, Jacqueline Hill, who, of course, played Barbara. Yeah, Gemma Powell. Wonderful as Jacqueline Hill. Uh, Claudia Grant plays Carol Ann Ford, the original companion Susan. Uh, I thought Claudia Grant did a good job. And just going all the way down the list, I mean, everybody in, in the cast did, did a wonderful job. Even right down to the, to the very last scene when William Hartnell finally turns over the role of the, of the Doctor over to Patrick Troughton. Uh, Reese Shearsmith in his one and only scene, but nonetheless... I mean, he's got Patrick Troughton's mannerisms down pat. I believed he was Patrick Troughton. I mean, it was it was amazing. He doesn't look completely like Pat, but he looks close enough to him. But he's got Pat's mannerisms, and uh, he's just in that one scene at the end. But wow, it was Patrick Troughton. <laughs> so well done, Reese Shearsmith as Patrick Troughton. All the sets that you see in this movie, you know, replicating the sets of Doctor Who from 1963, just totally... Uh, immaculate, seeing that old console that William Hartnell had, uh, the old walls of the set, the paneling on the studio walls to see the original Daleks. I love it how they recreate certain classic shots, like when we get to the part of the movie when they're doing the story of the Daleks' invasion of Earth, when we see the Daleks, you know, traveling down uh, London. I mean, they recreated that scene perfectly to a T. Again, seeing the various costumes, I mean, seeing the costumes from Dalek Invasion of Earth, the Reign of Terror, uh, the Web Planet, all the various references to the various different stories uh, from the William Hartnell era. I mean, this movie is really great fun. There's no doubt in my mind that this movie was made with a lot of love and care and a lot of respect to the Doctor Who of old. And I think Mark uh, Gattis, Mark Gatiss, sorry if I'm not pronouncing his name right, I think he wrote this story with a lot of love and care and directed with a lot of love and care by Terry McDonough, and acted with a lot of love and care by the whole cast. I mean, right down to the last detail. It's a wonderful movie. I mean, uh, and I think it's a movie that I'd be more than happy to watch over and over again as the years go on, because it's just so well done, and it gives you just such a wonderful behind-the-scenes look on how Doctor Who was uh, going all the way back to the beginning in 1963. Whether or not you're going to go along with Doctor Who uh, in its new direction that it's heading into, hint, hint, well, you know, that's a personal choice that each and every single one of us has to make. But um, whether you are for the new direction of Doctor Who or you're not for the new direction of Doctor Who, sorry, <laughs> it's the way I feel, um, I think we can all appreciate how Doctor Who began. And uh, I think that this movie, An Adventure in Space and Time, is a wonderful trip back to 1963. It's a wonderful trip back to the very beginnings of Doctor Who, when William Hartnell was the Doctor. And um, I just totally love this movie. I absolutely love and adore it. I give it perfect four stars out of four. I think An Adventure in Space and Time is available on DVD, or you can, you can buy it for a very affordable price as a digital download uh, from iTunes, which is how I got the movie. And I really, really loved it. So, well done, one and all, for the wonderful, absolutely wonderful Doctor Who movie, An Adventure in Space and Time. A wonderful love letter to Doctor Who and its fans all over the world. Very well done. Thumbs way up, way, way up on an adventure in space and time. Love it. All right, you guys. So that's my review of an adventure in space and time. This is Alan. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below.